Hi, and welcome to another tutorial video. Uh, this is going to be over the, the label software. One of our subscribers asked us if we would look into doing a video for uh, labels or tags that are end to end rather than side by side. And so this is what this video is going to be about. So let's get into it. So when you look, uh, first go into Go label software comes up and looks a lot like this. So at this point, <clears throat> we're going to do a little bit different than what would be if it was a five by five type of label to have. Uh, since they're in the end, what we're going to do is put in a total worth of our print. And that's listed here. So I put a little bit over uh, four inches because the software has a tendency to like to adjust things and we just put in a little bit four. And then also, uh, putting on the total length of our label. So I got a four inch width thinner and a 10 inch long label. Now the software automatically calculates the label size uh, based on the width that you put in. Doesn't um, too much pay any attention to the length, but it does um, when we're doing going on end to end. So and it calculated a little bit over my head. I changed the number of columns that I have four, and that's what they have calculated label size. You can change that to three and you see it we calculate the label size for each label based upon the width of the band. And so once you've done that, you've got the, the width of your printer there, you can actually click OK, and now you're ready to fields and the static data to your label that will be replicated across all four of your uh, tags. So that ends our tutorial for link or end-to-end -end tags and keep those comments coming. Thank you.